Hello, this is Oleg with OpenBomb, and today I want to talk about three fundamental concepts of uh, OpenBomb. When you start working with OpenBomb, those are three things that are mostly important for you to understand, to operate bill of materials and create bill of materials in an efficient way. So those are three things. First is catalog, uh, second is bill of materials, and third is a view. So let's start um, and talk about each of these uh, modeling concepts. So let's start from catalog. catalog. You can think about catalog as a database of all parts that you uh, manage in um, OpenBOM. You can create multiple catalogs, but now I will show you how to create a single catalog. So I can create catalog using the uh, command in the dashboard. So you go in create catalog. Now you need to give a, a catalog name. So I will give a catalog two, but uh, it can be any name. And there is a part number setup. I will not focus on this for the moment, talk about this in a different video, but I create catalog with a name and I save it. So as you can see, default uh, created a catalog with a free few properties. You can define any properties you want. So it's completely flexible model. So I can decide that I would like to have a property and to uh, have a property with part image. When you need to select property, you just start typing and you will see set of available properties. You can create your own properties and we will talk about this later. So for the moment, let's just pick any property that you have uh, in the system. So part image will be image type property and I will add it to a catalog. So I will be able to add images. And uh, let's add another one, which will be description. So I can add a property and it will be description property. So I can create now parts. So I create a part number and I can load the image. So I think I will be designing pump. So I will find pump body part and that will be its image. And it will be part uh, pump body and a manufactured name. I know whole manufacturing system. And now let's make a second part and see I can re resize it. It's very flexible. So the second part will be get to two, and uh, I think it will be shot. So I will find this image. And uh, that will be palm shaft. And it's also done by home manufacturing. So in general, you can think about it's done, what is missing. Okay, I think one more thing that would like to add the catalog, it's cost. So cost is important. And uh, you think about what is need to be added to catalog by thinking what is the database of my parts and what information I want to have in all places and all bill of materials about this part. So if this is the information that will be the same in all parts, put it in a catalog. So in such case, of course, cost should be in a catalog. And I can put here the number. Uh, so now we get catalog done. So what is the next step? So as we have a catalog, we have sort of a database of all parts. So for the moment, I have two parts. It's okay to start with. So let's move on. And the second thing that I would like to show you is how to create bill of materials. So I'm creating bill of materials using the command in OpenBOM and I'm saying it will be my part number. And um, and uh, I can create this bill of materials. So pay attention what happens. Bill of materials from the beginning, it looks like very similar to um, catalog, but that's uh, uh, there is a difference. So in bill of materials, you create actually your products. When you, in catalog, you think about catalog as a database of all available parts, you might use them, but you might not use them. And you think about a bomb as a product. So in my particular case, I create this uh, pump. And uh, the first thing that I would like to do in a bomb, I would like to think about what properties I want to have in a bomb. And these properties 
And the part number is mandatory property and everything else you think about properties that will be managed per instance of the part in this product. So if I will put a body, that will be information about this body. And if I will put a shaft, it will be information about shaft in this product. So for example, uh, OpenBOM creates BOM with some predefined properties. You might not need them because they might duplicate what you already have in your catalog. In this particular case, cost is the information that I would like to use in a catalog. So I better delete this property. Uh, some other properties also coming from catalog. I will show you that OpenBOM can give you an indication that you have you have an overlap of properties, and it's important to delete those properties from the BOM so they will not confuse you. So I select catalog for the BOM by clicking on part in catalog command, and this is my catalog. I selected it, and here you see OpenBOM gives you an indication that description is in a catalog button in a BOM. So in such case, my recommendation delete duplicates from the BOM. So you will have a clear set of information in the catalog and in the BOM. And what you can see now, you can see there is a, some information coming from catalog and the information that coming from the BOM. Actually, I can say, I don't want a thumbnail image in the BOM as well. So everything I want in the BOM, I want to have a part number and quantity. So I remove this property. So now we have very simple and clear structure. We do have part number quantity and then information coming from catalog. So far, it's all good and I can select part. So I can search for parts and I can select from the list. Uh, parts are coming from catalog. So I select cut two and you can see the information is coming from the catalog and fetched in a bomb. So uh, the properties that are uh, have names in the squared brackets those are properties that come from catalog and uh, let's add the second part uh, the search part menu will open search and you will be able to search in all catalogs so now i select pump body and i insert it in a bomb so what is missing it's missing quantity i can say one pump and i can say one shot now what i would like to have a pro would like to have a part which is uh, not in a catalog. OpenBOM gives you this possibility. So I can add a part number and uh, I can just free type. So I can free type any part number here. So uh, it will not be defined in a catalog, but you will be able to put it in a BOM. And then if later on you decide to put this part in a catalog, uh, you will be able to do it and information from catalog will be fetched in a BOM. So it's always a good idea to use info panel that shows you what information you have. The info panel shows bound properties and the catalog properties. So you have a catalog part for this. That's why it uh, shows that you can create a new part. Uh, but if you do have a catalog properties, this catalog properties will be displayed in info panel and you will be able to navigate directly to this catalog. So that was the second thing. It was a bill of materials. So remember, first was catalog, second is bill of materials. The third most important part when you start working with OpenBOM is views. Now, view is, think about view as a lens that shows uh, uh, some data. It coming from bombs and catalogs. So in our particular case, you see now view is set off. So it means you see raw data. So you see all properties that coming from catalog and all properties that coming from the bomb. But if I will go and I will select one of views available in my system that you have less than in my account, you might not see everything. So how to control what you see and what you don't in the view? First of all, if you got a view and you don't see all properties, don't be afraid. That's what view is stand for. So if you're looking for something that you don't see, first of all, check this view. So the view can give you an indication why you don't see the property. And if you don't, Always you can switch view is off in single level mode. We'll talk about this later, but when you set view is off, you see raw data. And I can go and I can edit this view. So by editing this view, I can decide what I want in and what I want out. A very simple way is to uh, clear property list if you do have something and get properties from the bomb. So if you get properties from the bomb, 
it gives you everything that you want. So in this particular case, we do have all these properties coming from catalog and from BAM. And if I am editing uh, a view, I can get all these properties. You see all these properties coming from BAM and from catalog. And I can just uh, get all these properties from BAM. And I can now decide that I don't want some of this information. For example, I don't want supplier link, I don't want part state, I don't manage it. But I don't like quantity on hand for the moment because this is this is a property that I care in this view. Click apply, and by selecting now uh, default from the list, I will get exactly properties that I defined in our catalog, and I do care about, and I uh, defined exact properties that I want to get from Bell materials, and so far we get view with exact information that we want. So again, remind you uh, three important things you need to know when you start working with OpenBOM. First is the catalog. Think about this as a database of all components. Second is a BOM that gives you a quantity and other attributes. So think about this as a specific product. And view as a lens that shows you right data when you are editing or um, editing components and viewing building materials. So that was Oleg with OpenBOM and the three most fundamental parts of the concept of OpenBOM that you need to know when you start using OpenBOM. Thank you very much and have a good day.